Yeah, I won't be showing anything. <laughs> I'm true to me word, you see. If I make a word, I stick to the word. I stick by my gun. Oh, I can send a flare out. That's great. Send that flare out. Hello. Yeah, don't post that if, if, you, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Thank you, Lisa. I've been accused, everyone. Tartan, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tartan12. I've been accused. Make sure to pin Tartan12 and everyone follow them. Apparently, I've been slagging Brian May off. You liar. I love Queen. <laughs> She's been artificially intelligent to me, this Talia one. She's been up to tricks. Oh, Michelle, thank you so much. Yes. See, and if you would have stuck to your words, then you would be getting these type of gifts. Thank you so much, Michelle. Everybody, as usual, follow Michelle. They got Michelle, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And do you know what? That is because you stick by your words, you know what I mean? I entered into a pact to not do what I said I wouldn't, and I haven't done it. So I've been rewarded. Thank you so much, Michelle. Lovely. Yeah, so Talia's been AI on me. Making me say bad things about Brian May. You bitch. <laughs> She's been out of everyone. Thank you, Sean. I never said nothing about Brian May, did I, everyone? Thank you, Carissa. You're my witnesses. I didn't say a word, did I? Thank you, Carissa. Never would say a word about Brian May. She should stop being Brian May on the app, you see. Doing a misread spot. Not a not a word. There we go. There's me witnesses. She's been made, she's made an AI video and me slagging Brian May off. Can you believe it? Yeah, make sure you see her. Never said a word about Brian May. Thank you so much, Wonder Woman. AI, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. We know your tricks. Hello, Sam. We know your tricks. Thank you again, Michelle. Thank you, Tartan. Never would speak about Brian May. She's pretending to be Brian May on the app. So thank you so much, Tan. She's bringing his name into Ill, Ill repute. Anyone who knows me knows I love Queen, you know what I mean? I've even got the coins from the Royal Mint. And I can produce them. So, there's no way I'd be slagging Brian May off. Definitely not. I used to listen to it on the bus on the way to school years ago when there was a CD little what discman. I would never speak ill of Brian May. You disgust him to say such a thing, Talia Dean. Nobody believes your lies. You've made an artificial intelligence video like we've seen in the past few weeks, everyone, with the Alpha Bar One and Marcus MZ in the hospital. So we know all about your tricks and it won't wash around here. These are my witnesses. Never spoke a word. No. Thank you so much. We're nearly at my subscription goal as well, by the way. Um, 29 out of our 50 hand hearts. You need to hurry up and double tap the screen as well, then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's not even the godfather. I've checked into it now, and it was a chance encounter with him. She's not even related. Absolute nutter. Not holy at all. The only thing holy about her is her knickers. Moth-eaten they are. The gusset's right out. Is Talia trans? Talia is Elphaba's sister. The nose kind of gives it away, I would have thought. Never got me off the mark. This is new today. Weirdos. Yeah, Brian May needs to be made aware. Thank you so much, Brain Junkie. She's, she talks about Brian May, so the quicker you do the hand hearts, the quicker we do the taps, and we're playing it. Hello, Tommy T, my darling. 
you know what, everybody? I got this overwhelming urge to message Tommy T. Later on in the evening, he put a post up about it being the anniversary of his father's death. I was the intuition, love. I knew that was the day to inquire how he was and everything, you know what I mean? And I didn't even know. It was just my intuition picking up that I needed to message Tommy. Because he's like my brother from another mother, you see, on this app. Thank you, Lemon. So, yeah, I was I was like, oh, my God, I knew there was a reason I messaged you today. Because Tommy's not been around on the social media for a bit, you see, so I miss him terribly. And the, everybody here does as well. Oh, no, I'll be posting the videos tomorrow. I had a lot of unpacking to do. So I've done it all now. I was building him. Um, thank you, Kimberly, love. I was being, building here uh, those swirly shelves with all the products and everything, you know what I mean? Who's Tommy? Tommy is a friend of the stream and a personal friend of mine. Um, but we're like brother and sister, you know what I mean? Thank you, Phoenix, for subscribing. Oh, lovely Michelle sending me the lovely gifts. That's because I stay by my words, you see. Yeah. Real recognises real when it comes to the Michelle. And she's not here, love, because um, she'd be showing on the thing. So I'm not speaking to try and get anything from her. I'm telling you. There we go. It just goes to show, doesn't it? When you stick by your words. Yeah. So anytime you make a promise, you stick to it. Evil Oracle, yeah, I just know things, you know what I mean? Yeah, Brian May is um, the guitarist in Queen, though. He's like a rock star. And Talia, he's had the unfortunate um, misfortune of bumping into Talia one day and she's hooked onto him and set up his TikTok. Oh, well, I'll set it up, it's got a blue tick and everything. She goes around pretending to be Brian May, commenting on people's stuff. Tried to join Miss Red's box one day. Miss Red nearly fell off a chair when she seen that Brian May was in the box. The woman's d unhinged. So, and now she's making wild accusations that I've been slagging Brian May off. But I don't think so, love. You've been messing with the AI more like. Thank you, Nikki. Put the matches down, love. Honestly, screwball scramble. Absolute nut job. Brian May. I would never. So everyone, I do have my sound machine back today. Choo choo! Bang, bang, bang! It just all of a sudden popped onto life. So I was like, wow! So I'm happy that it's back tonight. So you will get pinned for 60 seconds if you do send a train. But send me all the extra value gifts as well, you know what I mean? After drifting cars off time, you know what I mean? I've had bloody all kinds of whale off Michelle, you know. Racing girl, hello, beautiful. Thank you so much, racing girl. Oh! Choo choo! Bang bang bang! I was almost out of the habit. Absolute screwball. The pair of them. Right, let's get on with it. And don't stop tapping the screen as well in between talking. And don't get too involved in what I'm talking about to not remember me wages. Thank you, Joe. Be disgusting, horrifying. Not only for the fact that, you know, he has nothing to do with this and he's a wonder. You brought Brian May onto the app. You're not a full man that does so much for charity and so living rock legend and she couldn't even shine his shoes. But also that he's just had a stroke. I wouldn't shine anybody's shoes. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter who these people think they are and what they've achieved in life. I would never be shining shoes. I don't think so. We could use your head as a mop though, you know what I mean? And, and then you could shine the shoes. We'll stick a pole up your jacksey and then mop, mop the shoes. There we go. New job for you. These sort of allegations and this sort of slander can get you in a lot of trouble. You liar. What troubles, allegations? I would welcome her Thank away. you, Jim. So, of course, I wanted to go and um, break the news to him, shall we say. Before she said he's just had a stroke and she went to Brian May and told off me. That's what she's saying. But I didn't even do nothing. It's here, wicked ways. But she'll come unstuck in the end, love. Jail time. Or it went round and couldn't find the video anywhere. Went round? What are you talking about? Couldn't find Thank it you, Susan. Right? So I'm going and all the, the big... Do you know, I'm sure Brian May would love to hear about the gay bashing, you know what I mean? Considering Freddie Mercury was gay, you know what I mean? Like his bandmate and, you know, like he died of what he died of. And you are mocking people's sexuality, um, the gender, the choices, you know what I mean? So I'm sure Brian May would be absolutely outraged and appalled, only he hasn't found out yet. But mark the day he's going to be finding out. There's nobody who's going to let you get away with the nonsense that you've been spewing on here. And now to make AI claim me to have said something about Brian May. 
You absolute shambles. Big FYP news report pages, the ones that we all know, and I'm looking for it. And I'm DMing and I'm saying, it's really funny because you had this video up and now you've... No, they would never post an AI video. So if the video's not there, you've misled the audience, you know, and then it's been realised that this is actually AI, poor evil queen, and it's probably gone, you know what I mean? No credible FYP clip channel would be producing Brian May content of me saying things when I haven't said anything, you know what I mean? Artificial intelligence. So that would be misleading the audience. So then I'd have to cut ties with these FYP, FYP channels. So um, you leaked it out and tried to claim it to be real. But no, absolutely not. Yes, FYP too. Thank you, Lizzie. You've not got it. And and just like the Tyrone video where she was being racist. Um, that's gone. That's gone completely. The video of her punching Bradley, gone, gone completely. The video of her going, Allah, Allah, Thank Allah, so and much, hitting Lizzie. a little doll or something, pretending that's to gone. Allah. A doll? <laughs> what are you talking about? I've never been hitting any dolls. Thank you, Lizzie. Uh, it's gone. And I messaged and I said, where are these videos? Right, enough's enough. Where are they? Where are they? So it turns out, and a very well-known FYP... Con I think maybe they hacked my live stream, you know? Maybe they hacked my live stream and done something weird you know what i mean because they are strange people doing dna tests and all that you know what i mean so you never know what they're capable of in this day and age so maybe they've sent me a rogue link or something you know when they were leaking my number out and stuff the night and they might have taken over my live stream and you know put the ai on the screen thank you ida lola Choo -choo! bang 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 so you know it's totally crazy isn't it their lengths these two scammers will go to content creator messaged me and said look i'm a massive fan of a brian my and brian which, which people are but you're slagging g people off and freddie mercury was j openly j love this is what she done sorry to interrupt but well, this is what she's done see i know she's got a problem with me she's always gonna have a problem with me you know that because she was totally in love with me and i can't change the narrative Ugh. like me i'll just retaliate and then uh, and said that but you've got to understand if retaliate my business has got nothing to do with you. And if I wanted you to, to bark, I would have kicked your kennel. You know what I mean? I'm sure your toupee is about to slide off. You better get some more um, some more glow on there. If you are watching EQ, Brian May, Sir, Sir Brian May, sorry. Sir, get it He's right. loved, loved nationwide, worldwide. Oh, and what you've done by God. saying that about him, you've literally caused a shitstorm with his followers. And you've literally upset. I haven't seen no Queen followers come and saying anything. Have any of you seen Queen fans uniting across the globe saying anything? No, not seen it once. What are you talking about? God bother us. Some of your own content creators God and your liars. own peers because yeah. we've yeah. been getting messages about so what you've done. So many. So many. Oh, yeah. Off all your own fake accounts sending yourself messages. That's how strange these people are, remember? Thank you, Queen Bob. Trying to recruit people for a cult. We're not for recruiting around these ways. Any messages about so you don't call fans. saying they're disgusted that you could do Thank that to a man in his 70s, a rock star. Evil Steve back up. Thank you so much for the chasing the dream. Make sure to pin Evil Steve back up um, and everybody follow him. This is just lunacy, isn't it, everyone? Star Legends have done mm -hmm. so much for charities. In the who's just got getting over a stroke, by the way, regardless of who he is. Just and he's an icon. And then going on having a stroke and she's popping over to say oh there's someone called evil queen on tiktok you know what i mean you preposterous and what you've done is Brian created May an absolute shit still an enemy and i think i honestly doing. believe sooner than this is going to be your absolute downfall what you've done you've done it drunk and you've done it vindictively you, and nasty Adam. and now Thank it's coming so to light that you're paying some of these shows so some of these people are lots of money to remove i'm paying you i don't pay any fyp clip channels i just have a built a relationship over many years, thank you so much, Bex. I promote these FYP shows. I love the FYP news clip channels. We just get on, you know what I mean? They, I put their news on, on, on to everybody, so you know what I mean? I'm sure they're very grateful, you see, Sam. You know, we'll have all the scratching backs and stuff over, over every... And yeah, I'm in with them all. Nothing gets past me. Fake Team Jesus, yeah.
move their content because you're earning thousands of pounds a day and you liar tick leap will show how much i earn per day and it's in the hundreds not the thousands thank you very much it's very rare if i ever make a day where i actually go over a thousand in actual real money you know what i mean i can make it on the live but then when i get my percentage so you're talking rubbish oh my god look at the eyes oh my god i've just looked up and look at the possession <gasps> possession so tick leap shows that i don't make thousands a day so why are you lying I wish I did make thousands a day, bloody hell. Never be off. So that's a load of rubbish, isn't it? You can check tip, tick leap, everybody. I make a few hundreds a night, you know, barely, ba barely enough to get by. Barely enough to get by. So I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not rich in no capacity. No. Evil Queens, you know what I mean, relies on the generosity of the audience. Thank you, Molly. They make sure I'm okay and I have my daily essentials. So, what you're talking about thousands a day, bloody hell, I wish. It's not thousands at all, thank you Chris. It's a modicum, a modest income, you know what I mean, for the things I put out and everything. And and I'm, I'm you know what I mean, it's just my, they look after me, my audience. They're gonna look after me when I'm an old lady as well, you know what I mean? We always tip, yeah? So I wish I was making thousands today, but I'm definitely not. And I'm not a millionaire or none of those things. I live a very modest life. You don't see me flashing off, do you, any time? When am I ever flashing off? Never. I'm down with the people. I'm a normal person. That's it. Particularly normal. You can afford to get it gone. So you basically you can say, I can do what I want. Oh, thank you so much, Racing Girl, for the future encounter. Thank you so much. We'll have to go racing one day, Racing Girl. Do you actually race? Thank you so much for the future encounter. Make sure to pin yourself. Um, pay, I'm not paying anybody anything, you know what I mean? I'm like a Scrooge. I, I won't be, I won't part with money like that, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't be paying. You do race, oh my God. Do you actually have videos on your profile? I don't search people, you see, because obviously I'm just on drama talk FYP. But if you've got videos, I'm going to make a conscious effort to have a look. That bacon from Costco is lovely. Chocolate swirls, hilarious. By the way, if you make a nasty comment about me anyway, chocolate swirls, screenshots it, and then finds you and puts it up and everything, you know what I mean? Hello, Leah. Right, turn the nusses off. Disgusting, horrible. Oh my god. Right, get them off now, nusses. Get out of here, nusses. Right. Luna Tuna. Oh, not again, you bastards. And me is worse than terminal cancer. Oh my god. Miss Red's leaving TikTok. Again. Guys, I've decided that I'm not coming back to TikTok, so this is my goodbye surprise, because surprise. Rix does exposed all my messages and voice notes and they're absolutely horrendous. I mean, it's some of the worst stuff I've ever heard on TikTok. And I mean, there's been it's some pretty bad said. things said, really. And this just, you know, wow. Wow. Uh, I, I'm only joking, guys. It's nothing that I haven't already said on live and it's nothing that I wouldn't say, so. Do you know what makes me laugh is, like, they tried to use that as evidence against Miss Red, but I know what we all know Miss Red. If I piss Miss Red off, she'll say anything. She'll agree with people who are lying about me, you know, but she will come good in the end, so to speak, and she'll end up telling the truth because she's backed into a corner because people know she's lying otherwise, you know what I mean? So when she was saying the things like, oh, I believe you, Rickster, blah, 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 all this shit, it was because she'd fallen out with me, love, you know, and the whole audience knew that. And she even done a poll, you know what I mean? And the audience went against her on the poll, for instance, when she was saying it. So, me and, it's like me and Chelsea the Art, where me and Miss Red fall out. We say the worst things are the worst about each other. We backbite at each other. We, we call each other this, that, the other liar about this. And I bet you this really happened, even though it didn't. So, you know, me and Miss Red just have a long-standing beef on the app. So, you know, more fool you for, for believing that Miss Red would actually side with the liar. Yeah, man. I don't really care, don't give a shit. Yeah, have a lovely weekend, everybody. Miss Red's my arch nemesis on this app. She is. The, woman, the woman's deranged. She's absolutely nuts. 
me call him your what's it? Oh, you can tell he's massively fell off. Hey, my beauty queen over. I don't, I don't say nothing about Pearl anymore. I look at her like at the granny of the app. So I don't say nothing about it no more. Drama. You can tell he's massively fell off. I just think she's just a granny, isn't she? You know I mean? Because he gets affected off. when I call him hairy life. hole. And that's why he's got a hairy hole. Um... I mean, she goes to work in that burger van most days, you know what I mean? She never goes anywhere other than a home, you know what I mean? Like, she doesn't do anything exciting, does she? You know, the time's ticking, love. So I just look at her like the granny, you know what, what I mean? What a little way you do. The don't. granny of the house. And Kieran as well. Uh, listen, I know that you go over there and that's absolutely fine. Don't think I'm saying that, but why this thing's going on with me, my baby? I can't let you go in the box just in case something comes out about either side and I don't want anything mentioning. Do you know what I'm saying? Come in the live, but till it's Thank all you, finished Jen. with the police. I Pearl doesn't live in a caravan. It's not called that. It's a static home. Thank you very much. Don't be offensive. Pearl does not live in a caravan. You're offensive to Pearl when you say that. I can't have anybody who's sitting in them boxes over there sitting in my boxes. Do you understand? I'm not saying don't go in the box. I'm just saying why this is going on. That That's all. No, it's one of those um, static homes, isn't it? You know what I mean? Because she could move it if she wanted to, so it's static. Yeah. Static home. It's just I don't want to Thank spoil you, anything for myself. Hey, my Miss Ray. Hello, Ray Lindsay. Ray Fair. Hey, Kay, and a hello, my Miss Rip Mayfair Red. Um, so I under hope Miss you understand Mayfair, what I'm saying, and it's nothing to do with that. It's just, I know how excited you get. What does it say? Uh, 100% I've blocked them. Blocked who? Um, who? Is it Karen? Who have you blocked, Karen? She's boring me now. With me. As we go and buy. Wake up! For the movie. In London. I can't even tell you how excited I am. Come with me. To the Emerald City. I know, I look well better tomorrow. When she came back, nothing in here wicked, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. We are such eye makeup on. You see, this is London, so we're just walking around and stuff. So this is what we're doing. On the hunt for wicked in MS. I am in MS and I shall find the wicked. I'm gonna find it. Thank you, Lizzie. I'm gonna ask. Excuse me, do you know where any Wicked stuff is? Wicked? Yeah, Wicked. Uh, m and um, probably, It's probably going to be over here. Okay, Beetlejuice. Okay, probably have it here. Beetlejuice. Any Wicked? Any Wicked? Oh. Hi. Hi. Can we get a photo with you? Of course. Yes. Oh I'm just looking for the wicked stuff, basically. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so on brand. It's so on brand. Oh my god. Of like course. So on brand, those Irish people should be ashamed. With me. Uh, that people. Wow, the cheek. No, a lot of people are seeing the real you. I don't know what this is. People are actually bullying me now, and right. it's coming up. A really, girl. And Thank you so much, Ida. This girl's been lying about illnesses. Look. A wheelie girl admits to this. lying about her illnesses. I might have said I have FND because they were looking into it and I might have got my wording wrong. That is honest, okay? Fully honest. I might have said it because they were looking into it. I might have got my wording wrong. And I'm, that's fine. That is misinformation. I completely admit that, okay? You can record this whatever. I don't care. A wheelie girl admits to this. lying about her... Liar. That you go for a week and then... Speedo and Darren chat about spicy wheels. The end is worth the one. What happens after that? Pick up my phone. Check Instagram. Check Twitter. Twitter as well. Eh, uh, I've got a blue tick on Twitter. No way. Why is that bragging rights when you have to pay for it, you know what I mean? I've got a blue tick on Facebook. Try buying that. <laughs> you do spicy account. Mm. Darren, you've not got a spicy account. That's literally, and, and TikTok is the, is the only reputable blue ticks, you know what I mean? Because you can buy Instagram, but mine is linked to me Facebook, so it's automatically by proxy verified, because it's both meta. Um, 
but it's not a flex to have an Instagram tick or a, um, I'm, I think you can buy a grey tick on Facebook, but not the actual blue for celebrities like me, you know what I mean? Account. Like a page oh. tick or something, I don't know oh. that. Even that might be right. I've not posted though. But you've got one. No I guess, comment. Again, who made you make it spicy? Thank you so much, Kimberly. Choo choo! Bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kimberly. No. Yeah, but I got my blue tick on Facebook when blue ticks were blue ticks, you know what I mean? So, um, mine's more valuable than any of yours because I got mine, like, ten years ago. Whereas, like, you know, if you happen to pay for them or you can just get them willy-nilly nowadays, then it's not special anymore. But mine was actually an original blue tick, so... If anyone can get them now, then it's not special at all, you know what I mean? Why not? You done it. You How were you a celebrity? Well, I was on a television show called Celebrity Butched Up Bodies with other celebrities. So, you know, um, actresses, you know, this, that and the other. So many reputable people have been in on these type of shows. Uh, but normal civilians can't get on the celebrity one. You know, and Hollyoaks uh, wanted me and paid me. Thank you so much, Luke. Choo choo! Bang, bang, bang. Pin Kimberly and pin Luke, please, moderators. And uh, Hollyoaks included me in the very first Pride episode. You know, and people watch Hollyoaks all over the world. You know, so I um, was paid to go and do that. Especially us. Thank you so much, Luke. And one of the newspapers calls me an ex-Hollyoaks babe, you know what I mean? I was only in it for a blink of an eye. Yourself, didn't you? <laughs> spicy Wheels. Have you named it Spicy Wheels? Yes. How much to sub? I had a column in Closer Magazine. You don't get a column in Closer Magazine willy-nilly, you know what I mean? N not any old person can just go and get a, a Closer Magazine column, you know. Uh, I was in the national magazine, this is with my own column, you know what I mean? So you can Google all this if you want. So that's what makes me famous. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm on that IMDB, whatever it's called, for me, credit for me television show. I don't even know what I put, like, five pound I So if I went and subscribed oh, to your well, spicy account... Nice. Emma tells Roberts to go off the live. She while she's modern on EQ's live. But I've watched this clip and she doesn't say anything. Hey <laughs> there, Paul. Mate, I've got some hearing head up. Take it off, please. Oh, take it off, please. I heard her. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Yeah, right, I got love Emma's think... modern. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's better. That's like, I, I open my box. I, 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 I ain't fidgeting with all these knobs and that. <laughs> oh, I like Robert. He's so sweet. Fuck it up. nice person. I'm, okay. I'm, a, I'm, I'm a, on a bit of a warning. Do you know what? Robert is just a nice person, you know what I mean? And I like their, I do like their relationship together, you know what I mean? So I think, I think he understands them. Um, he doesn't get offended when she's like, go over there, you do me head in, blah, blah, blah. He just, he just laughs about it, you know what I mean? Like, I seen a clip the other, yesterday, I think it was. And um, she was like, go over there, why do you have to be on my camera, show my camera, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, right, love, I'm going down the pub for a few hours, I'll be back later, you know what I mean? And, like, it's just, like, it's, he's just a nice man, I think. Morning. You what, sorry? I'm on a bit of a warning. Oh, you being naughty, Robert. Because <laughs> he knows him, uh, uh, mean, anything, you know I am. <laughs> And has Ems fell out with Mad Hatter and AJ or anything? <laughs> well, if you can hear me, I'll tell you what. I took on every single person in that group. And now they So if he came on, so for instance, it's like someone being in my house and going on live with somebody who they know that I don't like, for instance, you know what I mean? So I get why Ems has been like, switch it off if it's like somebody she doesn't even go live with, for instance. But I don't know whether they've got beef or anything, but... Ems says she's I had want, enough of people using their for clout. that you go in, that has do, a bed in I it, a cooker sometimes. and a kitchen, and a hot tub. You know, so you can sit back and relax and... Uh... Oh, do you want me to read some of me, um, I got me report back today from the psychiatrist for me, uh, me ADHD. Do you want me to read a bit to yes. Where is this? Yeah, do you want to hear some of the reports? 
Hello, hello everybody. I'm gone. I'll I'll just read what he said because he he makes observations, you know, during like he wrote it. I did put it on my story earlier on as well. If anyone read it. It says, Chelsea presented as well-kempt and casually dressed. She engaged well and was pleasant and appropriate throughout. She was physically restless and was fidgeting at times. She frequently lost her train of thought and occasionally went off on a tangent. I do that all the time with you, don't I? His speech was quite pressured and increased in rate, but had good rhythm. It was rich in content and its tone and volume were normal. There was no evidence of any thought disorder and she denied any thoughts of self-harm. No history or evidence of any psychotic features. She denied experiencing or ever having experienced any abnormal perceptions. Uh, Chelsea has good insight and judgment into her difficulties and demonstrate demonstrated capacity. And then it says, um, total number of criteria attention deficit pre present during adulthood out of nine, nine. And the next one out of nine, 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 nine. So I scored nine in all of them. And, um, yeah. I've got everything, love. So anybody wants to, to say, oh, you made it up, or this, that, and the other, love. Well, I've got all the evidence, love, right here. And also, um, I need my place of work adjusted as well, I've heard. Do you want to hear what he said about my place of work? So I need to get in touch with TikTok. Okay, so look. Workplace adjustment. Dear Sir Madam, I am writing in my professional capacity as a specialist psychiatrist to address the matter of reasonable workplace adjustment for Chelsea, who I have recently diagnosed with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. ADHD is a neurodevelopmental disorder characterized by the core symptoms of inattention, hyperactivity and impulsivity. And it says this one, flexible working arrangements. Providing your employee with flexible working options such as flexi time, compressed hours and telecommuting, yeah, I have to have that. Structured work environments, well I don't have one of them because the, uh, the other creators are trolling me so they'll have to be gone, won't they? No, I've got, the, got it here in writing. Task management support, there we go, I need that as well. Reasonable breaks, so I need breaks now as well. Assistive technologies, so I need some technology, you know what I mean? No, I don't want any training. I have already know what I'm doing. In addition, I kindly request that you schedule a meeting with Chelsea to discuss the proposed reasonable adjustments and address any questions or concerns they may have. Maintaining open communication. There we go. TikTok, we need to talk. I have a glass of wine and... You know, Hello, everyone. Throw some petals in. Talk to them and that. Thank you so much, Demos. Thank you, Any mate. suggestions in the chat? Workplace uh, adjustments need to be taken off. You can't even see the comments. Fuck no. What? Nothing. Can I ask you a question now? Why can't I just find a decent friend? Robert's Instead, a decent friend. With everyone, it's all about followers and going live. He's never been live before until he couldn't come to mine. Why can't I just find a decent fucking friend that's like just there for me? Yeah, I get what she's saying. Like, but she did meet him on a TikTok live, didn't she? So he was already joining boxes and things like that. So I get what she's saying, but he, she did meet him via a TikTok live. You know what I mean? So thank you so much. It's Craigie. I know I picked the wrong cokes up, but I'm on a diet from Monday anyway, so thank you, it's Craigie. Instead of sitting there trying to ruin my platform, yeah, okay. I'm just going to sit here and watch you live and just keep it going. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get what you're saying. 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 Oh, look at this ring doorbell thing. He opens the woman's door, he trips. Hello. 
Finish from the door. Sorry? Finish from the door. No, no, no. You yeah, open the door. Uh, <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, thank you. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Delicious. You just open the door. Finish up the door. Finish up the door. No, open the door. All right. He's still. Em's loose sit with rabbits. Talking me. Oh no. Really? It's been so long. Wow. Is your friend? Two accounts today. He's been gifted on two accounts. I've the first one. Yeah. Gifting you on two accounts. Yeah, they're like really small gifts, but to get next How do you know it's him? But when you've got like 4,000 odd followers. Yeah, exactly. You've got loads of. And he, he, he had like 4,000, and it was a different. It was his account. Yeah, he just changed his name all the time, don't he? And then um, he came on. Will you stop doing that, please? I'm talking to Brett. I'm trying it out. I'm talking to Brett. You don't need to do it to my camera. You don't need to do it on the camera. I'll save it for later then. We can watch it. I'm back. trying to have a conversation. Please just leave me to it. He's always busy, Brett. Why are you just messing around with him? He's always Hello, busy. Hello, Chelsea, my love. Thank you so much, beautiful. Happy weekend to you too, my babe. Oh, Chelsea, I've been busy myself. I've been unpacking all the boxes, been doing all kinds today, setting everything up. And TikTok sent this automatic, you, you put your toothbrush under and, it lets it, and it's got two little cups attached and all that. It's that cute, so I'm going to upload the video for tomorrow. Thank you, Chelsea. Just, just leave, you, you just leave me alone, fucking hell. I'll speak to I soon. can't do nothing on my own live stream because you're there. You're on the peanut, the the peanut, per, oh, peronies, you're on the peronies. I love that. Just remember yourself, Chelsea. Don't say anything outlandish, but I know you won't anyway. It button in Thank you, all the fucking time. Just leave me alone. Thank you. I was on fire. I was on fire. Uh, right, I'll be back in a bit, love. I'm just going to pub for a bit. A couple of bites, I'll be back later on. Oof. Will you let me speak, please? I'm talking to Brett. So basically, I told him to. Ah, uh, two of two, two at the same time. Thank you so much, Tutti Girl. Choo choo, bang, bang, bang. Shaney, triple. Is it now? It's triple. Triple four. Choo choo, bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much. Make sure to both get pins. Thank you so much. Racing girl, three in a row. Choo choo, bang, bang, bang. Make sure to pin yourself, racing girl, when theirs has expired. Thank you so much, beautiful. Yes, I'm getting all the trains now. Very gorgeous, love. I get why she's frustrated. Like, she does have a small space, doesn't she? And stuff like that as well. <gasps> Did you see Faith? How bad she is again. Terrible how they've, how they've looked after that dog. Look at this. Go. Yeah, yeah, Faith, Faith, how are you? This is the angle that we get shown on lives. We don't get shown the true reality of this angle, do we? Uh, of this eye. Why don't we get shown that reality? Do you know what I mean? Now, Dr. Jello has now turned around. Look, look, let me just explain something to you what's happened here. When I fucking left Faith, she was in brilliant condition. She looked amazing, right? Okay. I was sick myself. You've got to understand that. But I put my sickness off. Occasionally people would see me being sick but like, online, but then I'd, most of it would be off camera where no one would know anything about me being sick. I had malaria and yellow fever. When I got as strong, and I knew I couldn't go to the hospital. I knew I couldn't, so I was like, if I go to the hospital, I'm going to be in for days. So I put it off until I got strong enough. I thought, right, fuck it. I'm going to um, Dublin to get treated. I got treated in the hospital like four or five days, signed myself out. <laughs> And then, because oh, I have that mentality, as soon as I can get up and walk, I don't want to be sat around. It's all right, girl, yeah. Look at that eye, look, see this one? I'm so fucking angry, you know. Look at that, lad. So fucking thingy, but what I'm thinking, the swelling went right down on the face. It was perfect. Uh, then all of a sudden, that. it started going up and they changed the antibiotic and it put them in the mouth. 
And I'm thinking, something's not right here. So I said to Sam the vet, look, I think the antibiotics are fake. So we don't need to do an operation yet. Don't be in a rush to do one because let's just try it on a different antibiotic because the ones that we were given it were working. They got the swelling down. The new ones don't appear to be working. Lo and behold, Sam the vet told Dr. Jello to do the operation. So when he's pushing down on his skull, being a man, he's already got a fracture. He's obviously made the fracture worse in the nasal passage as well. Now her breathing's bad, the swelling's gone even worse. She backed out where she is. I'm also having to dab her face every like fucking 15 minutes or something because it leaks. This is back to how she was. So I'm gonna start on the antibiotics. Hopefully she eats some of them. Um, I've tried to give her some raw foods. I've give, tried to give her all kinds, she won't. And I just need to get this fucking swelling back down. Because what you can remember is we've been here before. Those who are new, who haven't followed for, it, we, me and Faith have been here before, six weeks, where she was like this. He prob the condition, this looks worse than what it originally was. It is worse. But in terms of how she is, we've been here before and she got strong again. But the only difference is this time, even if there's no two ways about it, in my mind, over my dead body, will I be leaving? Even if I get in malaria again, I will have to be carried out in a fucking bag than to be fucking going and getting treatment because our deal is now. She's all right, look, she's fighting, this is the thing. She's fighting, so all she's got to do now is just get her antibiotics in her. I've got a car which I'm buying off Teddy's fucking friend. Um, a Toyota, and because in case anything goes wrong across the coast, and um, we can change car. I had to change cars twice when I was driving over here. It's all right, girl. Um, the other day. But the difference is now, I'm just going to kamikaze it. So there's a dangerous country called Mali. Um, I'm going to kamikaze it straight through the middle of it. Um, with faith just to speed the process up to get it back. It's all right, girl. Look at this. Go. Yeah, yeah, faith. Aww. Poor dog. I, I can't wait till she gets better again. Because he got her better and then it's happened again. <clears throat> em says the hospital is to blame for Marcus passing. He passed away because of his heart. He had to... Um, I'm not sure what it means. I... Doctor's terms. But it was a, le <clears throat> a leaky valve. Oh. Heart. A leaky valve. I've got a leaky valve. Oh, you think that's funny, do you? That wasn't funny. He, um, I won 100% blame the hospital. 100% because he was in the hospital for two weeks. Didn't go live for the whole two weeks whilst he was in the hospital because it wouldn't have been fair. Um, we were going to tell you all like what had happened, you know, once Marcus got himself together. But um, they discharged him from the hospital on the Friday. But said Monday, you have to go to this hospital. Um, oh, which one was it? The hospital in Walton, Vice Lane. Hosp I forgot what it's called now. Really but he nice. got he got discharged from Aintree Hospital after two weeks being there. He got discharged on the Friday, and he said you need to go to this appointment. Like it was a life or. You have to go. Your appointment's there. It's on the Monday. They're on about um, an emergency heart operation. So why did they, um, why they discharged him anyway? I do not know. But he was wanting to be discharged anyway. But then he asked the doctors to be discharged. The doctor said, um, well, I'm not sure you're going to go to your appointment on Monday. You're going to have to have um, an emergency heart operation. Open heart surgery. That's what it was called, open heart surgery. Yeah. Um, you've got an appointment on Monday. We're going to transfer you from this hospital to the other hospital. Marcus said that he wanted to go home. Um, 
they actually discharged, they fucking discharged him. He didn't just walk out, they discharged him, the doctors. Well, Saturday night, Sunday morning, gone. Yeah, sorry, this is so interesting. I haven't wanted to stop it to talk. It's so interesting. I didn't know none of this. Like, you do sit there and wonder, fuck, and I would be just still in the fucking hospital. Would that have happened? I don't know. And that's why the coroner said to me if I wanted to win. Oh, you're never going to guess, everybody. I set the kettle up and everything today, and I was thinking I'll have a nice cup of tea at the beginning of my show. I forgot sugar, so I've got no sugar. He said something, I can't remember, he, he said something. But I could have just went to the shop, but I couldn't be bad. Something. And looking back on it, it was about two weeks later. And it processed in my brain, and I knew what he was saying, because he knew that that hospital, A3 hospital, yeah. A3 Hospital should not have discharged him. No, I haven't got no honey. So, so have you not been telling both of you today then? M tells Brett about her time of the month. What? Have you, know. have you guys not gone out today? I'm trying always to get her out of bed. Ha 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 ha. Em's mouth about talking. You, you, you moved your mouth about talking there, Em's. I'm not being funny, Brett, but if you was a woman, if you were in my shoes, then you know, you'd know why I fucking couldn't get out of bed. I was in excruciating pain. So I know us women, you know, we go through fucking, you know, we have our monthlies, bit of a bird. But mine's a lot worse than an, an average, like, normal person. Hmm. So literally, if Robert wasn't here today, I'd be in bed. All day? Yeah. I've been in agony all day. It's only now because I'm drinking. She um, has said before had... that she suffers with her periods, doesn't she? Does it numb the pain? Yeah. Yeah. CLA uses her new teeth gadgets. CLA's teeth look nice on this video clip. Okay, everything. Has she had her teeth done? Like, did she have composite bonds or something? I don't know. Ooh. See? Chelsea just needs a water pick and water flosser well better. If you've got sensitive teeth, you, you fill it up with warm water and after you brush, you, it sprays like a high power jet in between your gums and your teeth and it gets rid of all the shit. Even if you brush your teeth and done that, you'll still have some in it, you know what I mean? No, I mean, they look dead white and shiny. You can see them gleam and you can see the light gleam and off the teeth. I mean, I couldn't spit things on me before, like, <laughs> even a bit. It's the back, innit, where they go? <sighs> oh, so I can't see me people doing things after the seat. I'm so difficult. <laughs> Water flosser, Chelsea. Go on Amazon and buy one, honestly. I got Jack on, I got Jack onto Water Flossen. Thank you so much, Kay. I got Jack onto Water Flossen. And he loves it now. Oh, this is the video I was talking about Tommy posted. Oh, isn't it? I don't want to show too much because I've favoured that off my own account, but it's on his private account, so I'm not going to share. CLA is thought of Liam Payne passing. I mean, do you think he was in the room on his own? I mean, it's funny how they're not really saying anything. Well, we know that now, so I'm going to take it off. Move over, Delia, as Gracie braves the brisket. to cook this brisket, but I don't know how to do it. I love this in a hair. I want one. What's a casserole dish? Could this count? Could this count as a casserole dish? Can I cook it in this? Yeah, right, okay. It says, place the potato casserole, it's slightly tasty, salt, and pepper. Place joint in the center of the oven and cook for 30 minutes. Remove from oven and add your dressed vegetable and stock
How do I make a stop? No, it doesn't have a lead. It ain't got a lead. I ain't got a lead. It says I'll be uncovered. It doesn't say to have a lead. Is it oven proof? Yeah. My water flosser, if you go to my other account, Louise, you go to me showcase, you'll find one because I've advertised them before. So if you scroll down the videos, you'll see me with one. So I'm watching my eyes and touching the dogs. Lulu, hello Lulu. Choo choo, bang bang bang. Thank you very much, Lulu. Make sure to comment so we can pin you, beautiful. Everybody follow Lulu. I followed you on this account as well. Thank you very much, Lulu. Big up, Lulu. I've got Lulu. a little dash of red wine that I can add. I've hello. got garlic to add all of the onions and stuff after cooking it for half an hour. It says, you have, we'll do this together. It says that you have to cook it for half an hour first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do it. I don't do I leave? She looks great, doesn't she, Gracie? The um, string on it. Great like, for Gracie. What am I seasoning with? Help me. Yes, leave the tray. Okay. okay, so salt. Ah, oh, I'll have to send Gracie me address. She said she wanted to um, send me a housewarming present. Gracie's allowed me address, you know what I mean? Because I know where Gracie lives as well, you know what I mean? I trust Gracie as well. She's my friend, actual real life friend, you know what I mean? A friend to me and Jack, you know, Terry as well, so... Yeah, we'll have all the Gracie's. She always sends me presents all the time. I'll have to send her something. <laughs> I've never sent Gracie any. Well, I've sent a lion and that, you know what I mean? She sent me loads of gifts. Salt and pepper? I'm a bad no friend. No garlic granules or anything like that? Yeah, Gracie's moved. Yeah, Terry and Terry have moved together. So, it's based so Gracie met Terry when they went to get the surgery, but she, he was getting his teeth done. It was a chance encounter. His brother was at the her brother was at the bar downstairs, and she met he met some lads from round about where 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 they live and that. So he went up to the room and said to Gracie, and Gracie's like, you know, just had a surgery done. She's like hanging, and um, he convinces her to go down to the bar, and that's where Gracie met Terry. It was he was one of the lads. And then he, um, he lived with Gracie, didn't he? But then they got a house together. So much like what happened with me and Jack as well. But yeah, isn't that mad? If they if she wouldn't have come down that night to have a drink, she would never have met Terry. And he wasn't going to get his teeth done. He was going to cancel and reschedule. But he ended up going. Right, okay, so I've done salt and pepper. Garlic, I love garlic. Should I do it? I, I might do it with some garlic paste. Can I, can I like rub some garlic paste on it? Yeah, I've got time and I've got rosemary. Can I rub garlic paste on it? Oh my god, that fucking stinks. That's garlic. I just inhaled that. Right, plenty garlic paste. I love garlic. Garlic is delicious. What am I making? You're 50 and never been in love. Why is that manic menopause? A bit of water. Do I need to put water in it? Well, you love so I, how, when we say tiny bit, how much do we Thank you, Kate Drama. So funny, I literally will tiny, I'm dying. It's dead gassy, that sugar free Coke. Um, you find Gracie on TikTok by typing in Mrs. Marshall to be. 100 mil, right? Okay. This is Marshall today. So, do I just pour it in? Do I just pour it in here? This is what I'm going to be doing with you, cooking lives and stuff. Yeah. The camera's fallen. Do I just pour it? Do I pour it over the meat or into the bowl? Oh, out of the boiling water, right? Okay, right. See, here we go. Now we're. Right, let me pour it out. See, this is why I need you guys. To the dance floor, to the dance floor. <laughs> now everyone record. Dancing, right? Yeah, I've got no stop, stop cubes. Now lose it, just lose it. Go crazy. There's place brisket to crash on this 
slightly seasoned with salt, black pepper, place joint into the centre of the oven uncovered and cook for 30 minutes. Remove from the oven and add your choice of vegetables and stock into the casserole dish and cover with lid. Oh, cover with lid. So, can I, it says cover with lid, so to, can I just put... There's more. I want to see the end result. So, Slim, thank you, Jack. Can we see the end result? Right, it's on. I think I've got Gracie's video. What's this? Those of us who hear the Thames didn't have to process it. Oh, were it? Oh, okay, were it? Oh, it's Barker Gibson. Another creator the rat has used and now turned on. What's this about? What's this? Like most, most true that? crime content creators, I've. Oh, Lulu, thank you so much for subscribing, beautiful. Thank you, my love. We'll have all the subscribers today. Never known a true crime content creator to do recent crimes. Why is that? Because it's distasteful and it's trash. You know, every true crime page I've seen, there's always like historical crimes or trials that have already happened, and it's like that, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Don't agree with me, because if you that. like her, you like her, but. Oh my god, my mate on toast. Yeah. Like, this poor little girl that lost her life, she's got a trial on at the moment. The last thing you want is to open up TikTok and you've got fucking Hayley Comet going. Why do creators like this, like, write comments like this? Not a creator, a clip channel. Somebody called Mr. Pedantic Alicia's Martha or something. And it says, another creator has used her name. Now she went, she was your best friend, blah, blah, blah. But, like, they're not people's best friends, so... Some people might meet Haley and think, "Oh my God, she's so great and she's lovely," and then watch her and and watch her a little bit more, and then think, "Actually, you know, I don't really like the content that she put out." And people are allowed to change the point of view, but on here, for some reason, people cra people try and tie you down to your original point of view, even if things change, even if someone stabs you in the back, and then you go, "But you liked her last week." But that's a ridiculous way to live, and I've always thought that's very strange on this app. The way you you can you're not allowed to end up not liking someone's content after you've watched them for a bit more. Thank you, Elaine. Because Hayley was great during the whole Jay Slater. She had all the people and everything like that. You know, but even I was saying to Observer yesterday, bloody hell, I feel like Observer's getting used a little bit by recording all this content, putting it onto YouTube. And look at the views on that content. It's not even get, really getting any hits. You know what I mean? So, like, she's uploading hours and four, five, six hours sitting in Hayley Comet Live. You know what I mean? Like, it's like it's expected of the Observer now, sort of thing. So, you know, people can change the points of view and all that, you know what I mean? But I don't dislike Hayley, by the way. I'm just like, I have my own opinion. Going, <laughs> waffling on shit about it. But nobody had a problem with Hayley when she was doing the Jay Slate thing because it was the first time people had really seen her. Although Hayley might have been doing true crime for a while. That was what blew her up, was the Jay Slater thing. So people only discovered her for the first time. Zach might have only watched her for the first time then and thought, oh, she's sound. Like, I like what she's doing. It's interesting. And then as time's gone on, has changed his opinion. That's allowed. Lulu! Choo-choo! <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much, Lulu. Make sure to everybody to follow our lovely Lulu. Thank you, Lulu. So, people are allowed to change their minds. Like, stop holding people down to the views on a situation. I was thinking about this today. You know what I mean? Because, thank you, Ida. Choo-choo! Bang, bang, bang. After Lulu, make sure to pin Ida. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lulu. Thank you, Ida. So, um... I forgot what I was going to say now. I got distracted by the, by the trains, love. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, it was actually interesting what I wanted to say, so I want to I want to try and remember what it was. Oh yeah, so if if somebody does something to so like say like I, I'm like oh I love Zach, Zach's amazing, blah blah blah. I'm not I love Zach, I do I really do, and we're good friends. You know what I mean? We've gone this whole year as friends, and we're in the tenth month because I remember having a conversation with Zach on New Year, saying this is our year sort of thing, and I said oh what a year I said this morning. So like if Zach did something tomorrow, you know that was outlandish towards me and it affected me badly or anything, then I wouldn't like Zach because of that. But then people would still come in and go, but you love Zach a week ago. You love Zach um, two weeks ago, and it's like, but he's done something to me since then, you know what I mean? That's just an example, by the way. Zach's done nothing to me if you've just joined the room. 
You know what I mean? It's like your next door neighbour. Imagine they kicked your dog or your cats and you caught them on the ring doorbell or something, but you loved them up until then. Imagine you knowing this and saying that you're outraged that they kicked the dog and then you've got Susan down the road going, but you were friends with them last week. Yeah, of course I was friends with them last week. They didn't kick me dog then. So it's just ridiculous. I'm so dry off all that bacon. That Costco bacon's lovely. CLA wonders if all views are on the app. Thank you so much, Jessica. Our oh, fake, then she goes on to talk about a large VAT bill that she wasn't expecting. It's the floor, man. Honest to God, man. I'm literally in agony. Because I don't have a table or nothing, no man. I hear it actually looks sound, doesn't mm. it? I'm sure this big brother, not big brother, I'm sure this TikTok's fake. Yeah, I'm sure this TikTok's fake, darling. Why? That's what I'm ah. saying, Miss Moody. It tastes like the bacon that you get when you go to a cafe or to like Pale's Burger Van or something and she makes you a bacon. Lulu, thank you so much for the two, for two families. Thank you. Um, it tastes, I was thinking that. I was thinking this must be the bacon that they buy because it's lovely. Hello, Danny. Danny got me a card, you see, on his, on his account. So I've got my own little card now as well. I think the views are fake as well. Now I really start to worry, like, I start to say to myself... Oh, honestly, FYPT, I went the other day and I got a big long thing of Aberdeen Angus mints. And it was £24 or something. And it was already in, like, sections. So what I've done is I've doubled it up in sections. And then when I know I'm going to make something, I'm going to take it out, you know what I mean? Like, bit by bit. And it also the bacon come in, like, a big massive three section as well. So two of them are in the freezer. And I'm just going to lift one out every week because we like bacon of a... Well, Jack likes a bacon of a morning. I, I, I like it in the afternoon sometimes. and that, Or before, just as a snack, a bacon on, on balm or before bed or something. So we love the bacon in this house. Um, but, yeah, honestly, so it's great. Thank you very much, Elaine. Oh. Have you really had billions of views though, or do you reckon it's just TikTok chatting shit, darling? So when they make out that you've got millions, yes, Lily will have all of it. I don't even believe it no more. I think it's all fake, darling. Oh, and you know everyone on TikTok that earns over eighty grand a year, they've got to pay VAT. So as well as paying tax, you got to pay VAT because. I think my VAT's about 60 grand, as well as tax, VA. How is she going to afford to pay this bill, I wonder? Because that's a lot of money for her when she hasn't obviously been filling anything in for since, like, obviously, and then she did. But that's a lot of money for her to find, isn't it? So I hope you're going to grass up every single on here that's not paying tax, that's not paying VAT when they've earned over about... 80 grand a year because I know Wolf has and I know he's not paying no fucking taxes darling so uh, they're all gonna get grassed up by me I reckon Wolf will be paying taxes Chels only because like of how much he's earned he's earned well over you know what I mean like um, so many million pounds in pounds on this app you know what I mean with obviously Claire and all other people so I think he will actually have like done it all by the book because you know he's got enough money to just do it you know what I mean what's 60 grand off 2 million or something in your bank you know what I mean so I think he will he will have paid you know what I mean me that is only good on service love no 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 they're charging me for VAT because I've made over 80 grand in a year you have to pay VAT I don't know who pays I'll call tax the... on this app and who doesn't. I'm going to claim. Somebody said as M's. I don't know these people in Benefits life. Benefits myself. Um, fucking, I'll, I'll give them every fucking person myself. on TikTok that I know. This is who you need to investigate. Because if I have to pay it, you all have to fucking pay it, sweetheart. Fucking getting away with it. Even you, DG Dector, sweetheart. I hope you've paid VAT on your fucking gifts as well, darling. I don't think he will have. You know that, DG, I've got to pay about 60 grand in VAT. So as well as tax, and I know you have as well, DG, you've made over 80 grand in a year. So you've got to pay VAT on that. FYP too. Two free Kai. Oh, Gracie talking about me. I love Gracie. She always has me back. On a 
her own or she will sit on the same with other two three k on her own or she will sit on the same with other people it doesn't matter she has spent 15 years building a community which is and i would just like to say do you know the people who sit on the platforms and go evil queens fell off she only has two thousands or whatever it may be i am not here for people to sit and watch me i'm here to make money Lisa, just as I said that, we'll have all the lovely silver sports car. Lisa, thank you so much, beautiful. Make sure to pin, Lisa, thank you so much. You can pin yourself, babes. Thank you very much for the silver sports car. I know the timing on that. Thank you so much. Everyone, big Lisa up in the chat. Thank you so much for spoiling me. You're spoiling me. Um, oh, I forget now. That's what happened, you see. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the people who sit and go... Oh, your views. I don't care about views. I really don't. Views don't pay my bills. They don't, you know. Like, look at Miss Red. She has 5,000 people in there every day and she only earns £100 for herself, you know what I mean? Thank you, Rory. And I earn more than that, you know what I mean? I earn, like, you know, a few hundred. So, you know, I have to earn double to get what I get sort of thing. So I'm not here to be looked at. I don't want to be looked at. I like to get me gifts and I get me regular stuff every day because obviously I come on and, and it's classed as me work, isn't it? And I do entertain people and stuff. So I'm not here and I wish they'd stop saying it because it's so boring to hear, you know. So I'll express to you this. I don't care about viewers. Viewers don't pay my bills. Gifters and people who support my stream, they are the ones who pay my bills and they are the only ones I care about. Thank you so much, Chesley. I care about all of yous, but my main priority is my people who are financially supporting me. Always has been, always will be. I would never bite the hand that feeds me. And I only want those people here. And if I meet new people along the way, you know, then that's all well and great. But I'm not bothered about 2,000 or having 3,000 or Miss Red's numbers. I don't care. They don't make as much money as me, all these people who are saying they've got all these views. It makes me laugh. You know, financially benefiting from doing something on an app is what you should be striving for. Not to be sat there all day for absolutely free. Thank you so much, Brody. So you can sit with your views and Miss Red's views and this, that, and that. I do not give a flying fuck. I love my exactly solid support that I get financially. Thank you so much, Sarah Payne. Honestly, these people are obsessed with how many people are looking at the live. I don't give a fuck. Send their gifts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Lion, please. Thank you so much, Bipolar Beauty, for subscribing. We are friends. She's like, even though I'm... Subscribe on this account as well. This is me back up. I'll still always sit on 200 people. Do you know what I mean? But the same 200 people for years. I've had the same 200 people for years. So when you build that connection with your audience, they'll always stick by you no matter what. Do you get... I want you to start saying EQ doesn't care about views. Views don't pay her money. If there's 10,000 people watching, they're not going to be regular people who send me money every day. What I'm saying? Thank you for the heart, Mees. He's a massive thank you, John. He's a massive fucking clout chaser. Massive clout chaser. She will have the same Honestly, people no matter. So annoying. I'm so transparent. I am here for money. If I wasn't getting money, I wouldn't be doing it. You know what I mean? What? No matter what. Always one of the 200. I That's right, Nikki it James. If I wasn't being paid. That is absolutely right. I never sit on thousands of people. Do you know what I mean? I need thousands of people. But, like, I've got a smaller community, but she's got a community just. You see, exactly. Gracie's right. Gracie's 200 people have sent her up the leaderboard so many times. You know, I've financially benefited her. By buying products from a TikTok shop, you know what I mean? Gracie doesn't make money from the live side of things anymore. She makes money from a TikTok shop. So, but if Gracie went for a competition or went for live pro like she did with those 200 people are all their supporters, you know what I mean? So it just goes to show that it doesn't matter if there's 5,000 people watching or six or three or 2.5. It really doesn't matter. It's your support, which is what counts on an app like this. And I've got all the financial support. And if Gracie went for a competition, she'd more than likely win it. Because she's got the support. You know what I mean? Quality over quantity every day. Exactly. Miss Red's on five, 6,000 views every day and makes £100 in three hours. I come on for two and a half hours, you know, and I can do 250 to three. So I'm, I'm doing double the audience are donating to me. Doubly. Because if, if you think about the percentage TikTok take then I've got to earn a lot to get what I get, you know what I mean? So in a live, I, I can have had 
a hundred thousand diamonds and I'll make five hundred pounds, something like that off it, you know what I mean? Because it's like almost halved in a way. Thank you so much, Rory James. So my live stream and my people who send me all the gifts is what matters to me, not these preposterous views, no one cares. It's the same. Her community is just much larger. Yes, my Dave. So Not dry. sure who you're talking about. Mrs. Dolly, I'm talking about um, Evil you, Queen and Rickstar. John, I think she's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I love her to death. I think she's amazing. But still, well, this is the thing. She and she does. I know Gracie really cares about me in a real life sense. You know what I mean? Like she'd have me to her house anytime. Me and Jack. You know what I mean? She'd have us round. You know, we've we've gone out together. You know, it, like, we've got an actual real friendship. They're coming up to ours, you know, like, over the Christmas and that. Because me and Jack are going to aim to get the whole house done by Christmas, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, have all the furniture bought. We've just bought some chest of drawers because we didn't go for a wardrobe. And then we got two six of chest of drawers, like, in a high-gloss white um, for man in his clothes. Use herself abuse. She knows exactly. And then, and then we need to buy the stuff for the spare bedroom. We need to buy a sofa. There's a telly that we've seen that we want. So it's all bit by bit at the moment. You know? What she's doing? She's a very clever lady. Have to shop around the well, no, please stop have. picking the dirt out of my plant and then scattering it all around the house. Rolo, that's mud. I think that was it about me. Who pissed on CLA's cornflakes this morning? I always notice CLA has got a cob on the day after, like, maybe I've said something. I think she reacts off because she loves me. I think when I'm, when I'm saying, oh, she's love picking on people and this, that and the other, she gets a cob on, so the next day she's mad because, like, she, it's pissed her off sort of thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, who pissed on CLA's cornflakes this morning? But I always find that the next day she, like, has a cob on with the world then. Fucking little weirdos. Can't do shit no more. <laughs> so all gone now, huh? They're having withdrawal symptoms like crackheads on Reddit, darling. Oh, where's Reddit gone? Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Good, you little punk, darling. Discord's next. She's right in what she says about these Reddit groups, you know what I mean? They should not be able to slander people's names in such a... Uh, uh, oh, shit myself, Coco, bloody hell. Thank you so much, Layla. Choo-choo, bang, bang, bang. Coco just walked through the door and I was in a world of my own and I thought, oh my God. Um, you know, you can't sit slandering people to the nth degree. Like, make sure to pin Layla. Thank you so much, baby. Can't slander people to the degree and make false claims and, you know, try and tarnish a business and, like, get in touch with every single person, you know, she associates with. You know, it's it's just a platform for... It is it is harassment and bullying, you know. It, it is, like, criminal offences what are taking place in these groups, for instance, because you couldn't put that on any other social media site, so why should be able to put it on Reddit? Thank you so much, Just Mark. You know, you shouldn't be able to do that. You wouldn't get away with it. And in the real life, you couldn't say those things. If they came on a live platform and said those things that they say in those groups, they would be arrested. I need to get a drink, loves. Um, sorry. It's bigger than your dad. <laughs> Fucking saddles. Leave me out of it, darling. I used to be very successful. I think the only... Is your head okay? Yeah, I didn't bang my head or anything. I, I banged my leg on the PC and it went off. The reason that I I've... like, is everything frozen for everyone in the next minute the PC powered down? gone a bit funny on TikTok is because that... I've got involved with all these cunts with their bullshit dramas. Well, not no fucking mum. <laughs> <laughs> Not no fucking more. You can all fuck off, darling. Never needed you, ever. Not one of you dusty youths. Say it with chest. Fuck you all. Could never compare. Fucking copycats. You all learn from me, darling. I'm an original G, darling. Fucking all copy me, my facial expressions, me my do. words, my sayings. You yeah, all okay. fucking want to be Chelsea. Thank you so much, Rory. Choo choo, bang, bang, bang. They do all copy off her. All of them. Idiots. 
Look at the whole act from that. What the fuck? Thank you, dude. It's mad. Make sure to pin Rory and everyone follow Rory. Thank you so much, Rory. Can you come chat to me, sweetheart? Thank you again, you could please, never man. influence a whole app like me. Now I'm bored. Someone said CLA is not likable like you, but somebody went and said that to Chelsea the other day about me. Oh, you're likable, I don't like Eva Queen. And Chelsea said, well, you know, some people watch me and Eva Queen, some people don't like me, some people watch Eva Queen. Like, it's good to have your own audience and stuff as well, you know what I mean? So, it's not a slight on any of us. You don't have to like anybody, but I like Chelsea. So bold. Gets boring. Maybe it's the weather, because it was raining. Thank you so much, Dazza. Maybe she was feeling down because of the weather. People try to steal your identity, try to steal everything from you, and then make out like... Yeah, and I don't force any of you to like Chelsea. You know that, you know what I mean? You've got your own opinions. You're allowed to have your own opinions. Thank you, Scotch Banter. I won't be telling you that you're wrong. I just talk about what I think. You're allowed to talk about what you think, but you're not allowed to tell me I'm wrong, if you get me, because there's no wrong in an opinion everyone's got their own opinion so you have your opinion and give your point of view but don't tell me i'm wrong because it does piss me off you know what i mean so there's the rules around these ways but you can have your opinion like chelsea's in the chat she doesn't care if you don't like her just like if she's live and people are slagging me off i don't care because i know she likes me thank you lulu choo -choo. bang 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 and the person that i'm watching is chelsea make sure to pin lulu thank you so much lulu so you can say what you want it's fine she's not bothered You're not the one that, you know, it's like, go fuck yourself, darling. I don't even need to speak them words no more. I don't need to say affected, like what? All these words, fabulous, oh, darling, absolutely. I don't need to talk like this no more. I'll start talking a different fucking language. <laughs> what, are you going to start talking fucking German, bitches? Jesus, hilarious. I'll start talking a different language then. Unshot. You know. So I started saying nostrils because you're all copy. I said, yeah, copy this fucking nostrils. And they do, unfortunately. Thank you. So, so yeah, I am an influencer. If I start saying a word, the whole app will start saying it. Because they're all fucking copycats and can't. They ain't got a brain. They're like fucking tin, man. Dun, dun. <laughs> There's fuck all in there, darling. Stick to the fucking yellow brick road. Fuck cunts. <laughs> Sorry. Not even Jesus from cities and that. I'm little nerdy, little country bunking. Stick to the yellow brick roads. <sighs> That's hilarious. Oh my god, Michelle, you nearly threw me off the chair, love. Thank you, my love. I've banged me leg again, Michelle. Thank you so much. You nearly threw me through the wall, love. Just got these walls. Thank you so much. Oh my god, everyone. We love all the universe. Thank you, Michelle. Make sure that everybody follow Michelle, love. Oh my god, I can't cope. I was just about to play. We're off to see the wizard as well. Well, I'm still gonna play it. Thank you so much. Thank you, my love. We love you. Follow the yellow brick road. The universe. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Thank you, Michelle. Follow the yellow brick road. Buy chips. Because remember, I've got the arm. So it's on loud. So I'm like. Thank you, Michelle. Everyone, big Michelle up in the chat. And if you don't follow her, then you struck off the um, doctor surgery. Because, 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 stick to the elephant road. Thank you, Michelle. Stick to the yellow brick road. Places, man. Well, fuck me, don't you? Probably got one guy that's good looking in your whole village. Yeah, one shot. <clears throat> Get out of here, darling. I'm gonna come off in a You missed it. Oh, it'll be recorded on the screen. Minute. Don't expect me to come back on. Fuck this, I've had enough. Make sure to put that all over the FYP as well. <laughs> Eva Queen gets a universe, you know what I mean? Chelsea's house gates, guests crash and burn. <laughs> so this is on this day one year ago. Nostrils, darling. 
Last one. Oh, <laughs> Made me jump too. Who's got headphones in? Are oh, there's onion? So content. Look. Boy, oh God. <laughs> I love to hear like that. Look. Say hello to them, Maria. They want to see you over there. Oh, Maria. It's like a Saturday night. What is it? You've got headphones in it, you're uh, taking yeah? <laughs> and there we go. Maria. Ozzy <laughs> Osborne. <laughs> Ozzy. <laughs> Are we seeing this? Mm. Out and about on a Saturday morning in CLA. Sorry about the screen pause, Chelsea. Hit the computer. I'm gonna a come off this app. Delete everything. Delete every video. Dusty use. Dusty. Don't stop doing my head in. Michelle's mad, she come in and she threw the universe, she just left again. She's not for the attention, she's crazy, she does it all the time. Well, last time she did it, do you remember? She wouldn't, she just comes, she doesn't say a word, she's out. Off she goes again. Michelle's crazy. <laughs> she's always so Oh. Oh. Oh my god. When you friends with her, I'm still friends with Chelsea Love. She's watching now. Love, she, I'm the only show that she watches apart from Miss Red. She likes Miss Red too. Literally just, just pissing it down. I was the one who introduced, introduced Chelsea's sister to Miss Red. She didn't know nothing about Miss Red. There was Miss Red show started around the time of the hospital. Um, when she was in hospital, so Chelsea came out and was like, who's Miss Red, what are you on about, and all that, you know what I mean? And she went mad at first, I don't want to know about this gossip. Remember she went mad, called Miss Red the biggest gossiper, stop gossiping, she was saying and all that. She was really mad at, at Miss Red, because she was like, who's this woman? So I was the one who showed uh, Chelsea Miss Red. I don't even give a fuck if the phone fucks up. Fuck. You are glowing, wait till you see tomorrow then love, I'm, I'm gonna wash all my hair tonight and then I'm gonna blast it and then tomorrow I'm gonna curl it so like the brown and the blonde will all mix together and then be all lovely and I'll like obviously use a wide tooth comb to like brush them out after a bit and then they'll all be wavy and gorgeous so because I've unpacked everything now and I know where everything is so I'm gonna do everything and be like ooh tomorrow. Kids. Bruh. You're in an agency? No, I'm the manager of an agency. Bye. What's your agency called? Everest Creator Network. You got loads of members? Yep. Okay, play one. Is it yours? Yeah, fully yours? Well, it's, it's Daniel's. It's, D, it's D's agency, but I'm, he's the, obviously the business owner and I'm the manager. Oh, okay, you get paid for that. Thank that sounds you, a bit rude, but... Obviously, I love TikTok. I don't have, like, if I have a day or two spare, if someone, like, you know, a grandparent is willing to help me, I, I'm not going to, to London, to HQ. I'm coming to see my partner. At my, my husband's. HQ, my, my, my other home. Look. Oh, he loves me. How much was that? 20 quid? <laughs> Hilarious. What's your 
Gem Zeno and Court Assassin drama on a Saturday morning. Problem, you What's your problem? problem? What's your problem? Yeah, message that. How you to make it cheap? And by the way, Gem Zeno sent um, Court Assassin some messages going in because cause obviously she thinks I'm mates with Court Assassin, but I'm not. I just join a box sometimes, like if something's going on. Um, because, like, I don't get berated in that box, you know what I mean? So I don't mind going in their box because I get to speak my opinion or whatever that I'm talking about. You know, thank you, Creating Creations. Creating Creations, can I message you later? Will you send me my range of cups out and I'll re-advertise them and we'll start selling them again? Because I want, I want them all again myself, you know what I mean? New for the new house, if that's all right. And we can discuss them in some other merch as well, ready for Christmas if you want. Um, She started saying... Um, Evil Queens never won the UK leaderboard, and me and Chelsea Lee Art and Marcus Ems has. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I've made millions and millions of diamonds. I've come second twice. Um, I've come third, fourth, seventh, tenth, and that's on thousands of diamonds. So in the grand scheme of things, your stupid one stint on the on the on the bloody leaderboard where you got seven point nine million diamonds or whatever it was. I've earned well more than that, and I still continue to earn well more than you, so bugger the UK leaderboard. Who needs the UK leaderboard, you know? You don't need to be showing on leaderboards and this, that, and the other in this day and age. And by the way, even back then, I was still making a lot more money than Gemsy. You know, she had one stint for one week. You know, I've got a lifetime stint, so get a grip of yourself, you nitty. She's she sent me about 50 messages this morning, no joke. So, 50 her TikTok messages. is involved with her whole kids. She exposes her kids to TikTok oh, yeah, do I? to get up. coins, bro. Number one, you ever see my youths. But I heard someone say today, and I, and I actually agreed with it. It was Dad Sam. Somebody was saying to him, stop showing your kids on camera. And he said, like, which I don't know about safety and all that type of stuff, but he was like, um, well, you know, the weirdos should be the ones who are, like, you know, fucking off type of thing. You know, I shouldn't be having to hide my children from the world because there's weirdos. Then weirdos should be, like, fucking executed or something, you know what I mean? So, but then you cannot think like that sometimes because there is weirdos on the internet. So, you know what I mean? You've still got to have internet safety sort of thing. So, you wouldn't be putting your kids up with the school uniform on, for instance, after school, showing the badge and things like that, you know, but... No. The world's changing, isn't it? Like, parents are putting the kids all over now. I don't know why. Come on, have you ever seen my kids? Have you ever guys. seen my kids? Have we've you ever seen my kids? kids. Yes. Like, parents should be able to do that, I admit. They should be able to put the children on and, sh and show off the family, for instance, you know, without fear of weirdos. But unfortunately, there are weirdos. And there's no getting away from that fact. So you've got to take internet safety really serious if you've got children. Question. But in an ideal world, yes, you, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be penalised for the actions of weirdos. I agree with that. So never think that I'm saying don't put your kids on camera because like I'm saying like any any type of way. I'm saying it because it, it's not your fault. But there are weirdos there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ever seen my kids? That's you ever seen my yard? You ever seen my house? Me. You ever seen my baby father? You could yeah. never. No, you wear no. some woolly no, granny no. jumpers. Some green bogey <laughs> shit. You expect That's actually really funny. You wear granny jumpers, green bogey. I care. I care. I care. You expect yeah, Say it. Say it. Yes, say it. Say it. Say it. This morning. Me, 50 messages she has sent me this morning. Yeah, Gem Cena's is a nut like. Get out of here. My management is too bougie, sweetheart. You could never afford my management. My management, they charge about five grand a day, sweetheart. Saying that. Liar. Mm, depends how good your management are, innit, sweetheart? Who the fuck is your management, bitches? CLA says she's not got a filter on and that she's a natural beauty. She is a natural beauty. Have you seen Chelsea in person? The camera on TikTok, if anyone goes live, you'll know it, it, even if you don't put a filter on, for instance, it still puts some type of thing on you, like it's not a true reflection. If you put your camera on a, a phone and then put it on TikTok camera, it's completely different. Honestly, like it's just like completely different. 
Oh, yeah, it's got No one cares, darling. No one's got a filter on to slip, darling. I'm a natural, beautiful bitch, darling. Sorry, my language. Don't start stressing me out, darling. A bitch is just trying to order some contact lenses. She is funny. Hola. Hi, my daddy. Oh, I'm not putting this on. I don't want to know. Oh, leave the house. Leave the house. Honestly, listen to the way he speaks to his poor mother. Hey, it's move hey, on out. Cheers, Dave. Thank you. His mother has been by his side through everything that, because it's a child, you know, and the way he treats her with disrespect. Honestly, look, watch this. Bye, bye, bye. Delilah, move on if you've got hate. Go, 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 go. Be gone. We don't need it here. Have a shit look here. Bye. Have oh, my God. Stop. I can't cope with you any longer. God, <laughs> you're so frustrating. <laughs> And on that note, that's my cue to go before he comes. You can Bye see everybody. by his face. As you can see, I'm oh, full of energy because we're nearly got You can see by his face, that's not a joke. He tries to play things off as jokes. So I'm not like that. I'm a nice person and you're getting the wrong impression. You can see by his face, you know what I mean? That's not someone going, go on now, piss off in a jovial manner, you know what I mean? He's like, you can see, look, look, watch his face. Oh. Bye, everybody. As you can see, I'm oh, full of energy because we're nearly got Friday. I cannot cope with this screechiness. Oh my god, my autism is kicking in. My autism cannot cope. You ungrateful little twat, honestly. Sam has ditched Dr. Jello and now receiving. So I'm just in this new. From Omaru's pet shop. Vets in, in Sierra Leone. Um, Leave that. Oh, what's it called? Oh, Omar's pet shop. Omar's. Umar's pet shop. Yeah, oh, Umar's pet shop it's called. In Sierra Leone, Umar's pet, pet shop. Let me just spin it round so you can see it. One second, let me just spin this round. Oh, oh, one second. Oh, this is it, yeah. Umar's pet shop. So, these, I've just given some new medication, which hopefully antibiotics. I'm going to try first before mine to see if the swelling goes down. Um, Thank you so much, Jules, for subscribing. Thank you, beautiful. So, because the deal with um, street dogs all the time, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to see if Happy this money. works on faith. Um, he's confident it will. And then, and you know what? He gave me a free charge. That's the, that's the big thing. He's coming in and you can have a free of charge as well to help the dog. Oh. Do you know what I mean? So the fact he's done that, that shows a lot already. Um, so yeah, we'll hope, hope and pray that that works. So Umar's pet shop in Sierra Leone, that's where we are now. And this is the man we're going to be dealing with in the future. She just ran into the fucking window to go for a dog. Fucking hell, girl, calm down. <laughs> she just charged at the window. <laughs> fucking hell, girl. Are you alright? You walk a little mad at that. She's literally just charged. Oh, <laughs> She's a fucking absolute barn pot. What are you doing, kid? Why'd you do that? You fucking absolute barn pot. Yeah, so that's where we are anyway. Um, so hopefully this new medication will work. So I'm just in this new vet. In, in CLA wins from McDonald's and air freshener. <laughs> they must have known. I've got a letter from McDonald's, darling. Congratulations, you have won. Um, <laughs> honest to God, this is what you're saying. Look, let me cover up the address. It's from the Monopoly. Dear Leanne, congratulations, you have won the Monopoly promotions at McDonald's. I've won the... at McDonald's. I'm going to see what it says. <laughs> congratulations, you have won the Monopoly promotions at McDonald's UK 2024. On behalf of McDonald's, I am pleased to enclose your McDonald's air freshener. <laughs> Should you have any queries, please email... 
That's hilarious. What are they trying to say? M's attempts to wake up Rob. Random, isn't it? I want that. Is that an Alexa? I like that big scream. Echo show. I'm gonna do it. Bloody hell, this leads me on to a story. So the other night, me and Jack were in bed and we put, the, I don't know whether I told you this, I put the uh, film Otto on, that Otto film. And um, like Jack was cuddling up to me, like going to sleep. So like he was here, like on my arm sort of thing, with like his arm across me. So the telly was dead loud, so I knew he was drifting off to sleep. So I went to get the remote like that. And as I took my arm back, I elbowed him in the face. But imagine when you're peacefully slipping all of a, or sleeping and all of a sudden, you know what I mean? And it's funny, all we did was laugh, honestly, we burst out laughing. Thank you so much, Caroline. <laughs> oh, honestly. He said, I really am going to say domestic violence now. He said, you hit me in the face. Fuck off. <laughs>